Hey guys, Basic Nerf here. Just want to make a quick interesting note with everyone, all the modders out here. I have three truss fires in here plus a spacer that's just about 12.6 volts. I put that in and it revs, or it revs. Take out the spacer. I try to up it to 16.8 volts. Four truss fires, whoops. This battery compartment's a little, a little weak, but nothing. Nerf must have some installed some kind of voltage block or something. Here's another trust fire just you know so you know it's not a dud or anything. Nothing. You know I'll try another trust fire. Nothing. So the most voltage you can get out of this stock is about is at least 12.6 volts. You know. Oops. As you can see this battery compartment is a little finicky. Just like the hail. Oh, look at this product placement. Whoops. Power up a Duracell. Anyway. Yeah. This, uh, I don't know. Nerf must have installed some safety measure procedure in here. I'm um, sure you modders will get past that, but I just want to make that note to everyone. Another note on the battery thing. Um, again, 12.6 volts seems to be the max stock voltage that this thing will take. You take out the spacer. You put in normal double A. I only have two of these. Sorry, by the way, I couldn't do a stock firing test with a normal four. Um, you put in, this is 14.1 volts. It won't rev either. So, that 12.1, like I said, seems to be the max voltage stock for this thing at the moment. Hey guys, another uh, feature I noticed about the Instruct Elite Strife so far. For, this is a jam door up top, and uh, to unjam it, all you gotta do is, you know, or check jam, you just open it up, and that cuts the, the power to the blaster, so you know, you don't get your fingers cut in here while the wheels are revving. Um, as you can see, it won't go. But if you go just a little, it doesn't have to close all the way, actually. Will that work, actually? Hang on, no, okay. See, just one of the prongs is locked in. But it's revving already. And then, of course, both will work. So I just thought that's a nice little feature they added for battle. I don't know, quick situations where sometimes you're going to close the jam door all the way. And it'll still work. So that's another cool thing I noticed about the Unstrike Elite Strife. thing I noticed about the Unstrike Elite Strife. Um, as you can see by the mag, you kind of have to hold it two prong Because this is pretty much the only way to get a good grip on the button. And to pull down. So, um, I can tell this is influenced by the Raven a lot, um, and the mag, you know, you just pull it out, but I'm doing it one-handed, so it's a bit hard. But anyway, if you guys remember with the Raven, um, I know with mine at least, I had two different ones, uh, I have another friend who had problems with the Raven with the clip sometimes dro uh, dropping, because it wouldn't lock in all the way, um, or sometimes it would, wouldn't lock up, wouldn't, it wouldn't lock up all the way and would go down, you know, like a little bit, and then... The blaster wouldn't fire, or it would try to fire, but the pin would get, you know, jammed in the dart. I don't really see this see this problem coming up with the strife so far because already when you try to take it out, there's you can feel a bit of friction in the mag and the blaster, like as as, as if it's tighter. Um, so that should definitely be an imp improvement during games. You know, if you if you use the Raven a lot. I know in my last HVZ game that problem happened to me a couple times. I almost got tagged like two or three times because of it. Um, so I guess hopefully they you know recognize that situation. And that's just another of the features I noticed on the Raven so far.